Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the lockbox that the realtor has on your property. Uh, this is perfectly legal. The realtor has contacted me. They need me to remove this because the batteries went dead inside here and they can't get in the house. So luckily, the battery works in mine. <laughs> so uh, the way to do this is you're going to have to have the key to do this properly. Again, this is perfectly legal. So we need to get in the house. Okay, next, with the door open, what you need to do is it's going to be two Phillips screws on the back side. You need to remove both of them. You might have to hold the doorknob just so it doesn't kind of fall out. All right. So get that out of the way. Next, just kind of remove the inside doorknob. All right. Place that out of the way. And now you can pull that whole assembly right out of there. All right, just like that. So now we have the lockbox and the door handle. So we're going to kind of shut the door and get that out of our way. Now it's cold weather, so I wanted to kind of get the door shut while I did this. In the event that you shut that, you can notice there's no handle. Just take the one that you took off. This was on the outside. Just kind of put that back in there like that. And you can open it back up if you have to go back out. But this is not going to take long. So, all right, let's operate on this. Okay, so what you're going to need is a little micro screwdriver. And remember, you need the key to do this. So what you're going to want to do is you want to turn that doorknob until you see a little small hole right there. Now, remember, this will only work if you have the key. Obviously, it would work okay because I got it torn apart. But uh, if you want to do this and save the door lock. So you want to turn that until there's a little tab in there you want to push on. Okay, so I'll try to do this so you can see it. Okay, so I mean, it's really hard to see, but there's a little tab on that hole. You have to line that up, and once you do that, then you can take your little micro screwdriver and slide that down there, and it'll, the doorknob will slide off. So here we go. Just like that. Then you can remove this lockbox, get that out of the way. Now, if you had another lockbox to put on here, let's say the realtor left you one, all you'd have to do is slide that back on and just snip this back on like this. So that's what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna kind of slide this on. And there we go. We didn't damage our doorknob. So now let's go ahead and put our doorknob back together. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get our door open here, and let's just uh, reverse the process. Take your doorknob and put it back on. I like to put the tumblers up, okay? That way ice and stuff doesn't build up, so just make sure the little tumblers are facing up. Let's go ahead and slide that back in there like that. Take the other side, slide that in like that. And you want to make sure that you line up the screw holes, okay? They line right up, and they plug in. One right there, one right there. And there we go, all back to normal. Door locks, lock it, done. Well, there you have it, no whole lot to it. Uh, remember, this is perfectly legal. I was contacted by the realtor, this is our property. Uh, and they just said that the batteries did they could not get in so uh, I just removed it for them if they had another one I could have just slid that right back on for them uh, So they'll come out uh, in the next few hours and they'll put their new lock back on and uh, we didn't have to destroy a doorknob to remove this so Thanks an awful lot for watching and stay tuned for the next one